Good day, I'm Adrian Atkinson and this is your JIS News for Tuesday, July 16. The Health Ministry will not be endorsing the establishment of smoking areas in business places. Portfolio Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson made that declaration Monday in response to queries in the wake of the ban on smoking in public places. My answer to that is absolutely not. The regulations do not allow for this. We cannot allow the establishment of death chambers. And this is what a room filled with persons smoking would be. He said the Public Health and Tobacco Control Regulations 2013 stipulate that no smoking can take place within five meters of the entrance or exit of a public place and its ventilation system. Businesses and other entities of six months from July 15 to post no smoking signs at appropriate areas of their establishments. The Health Ministry, meanwhile, has created a page on its website that's dedicated to tobacco control and will be executing an extensive public education program for at least eight months. The ban on smoking in specified public places became effective on July 15 under Sections 14 and 15 of the Public Health Act. Government remains committed to significantly improving health care delivery across the island as it seeks to create a world-class health system. The health minister says that's one reason the ongoing public consultations on financing the health sector are important. We want to be assured that in going forward, Whatever the model that we come up with in the short term, we want to be assured that it is sustainable. Because there's no point in saying we want to create access at the expense of quality. Speaking at a recent consultation forum in St. Catherine, Minister Ferguson said while the no user fee policy would remain for now, government would have to look at other means of generating revenue. Some of the measures being proposed include implementing private wards at public hospitals and offering specialist services at reduced costs in government health institutions. Government has approved a major contract for the Scientific Research Council, SRC, and the Ministry of Health to embark on a wastewater treatment program. Science and Technology Minister Philip Paulwell says the more than $4 million contract will see the SRC transforming the Health Ministry's wastewater disposal system using more environmentally friendly biodigester technology. Speaking at SRC's recent wastewater forum, the minister said that considering the varied benefits of the biodigester technology, the aim was to roll out the program on a national scale. These systems do not pollute the environment, especially groundwater, and are therefore allowing for the construction of buildings in areas with high water tables. The SRC and aerobic biogas wastewater technology treatment options not only focus on protecting the environment but also on the generation of biogas as a renewable form of energy. Government continues to pursue a workable solution to adequately finance the Student Loan Bureau. Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites gave an update on those efforts last Tuesday at the launch of the 12th Annual Conference of the Association of Caribbean Higher Education Administrators in Montego Bay. Minister Thwaites said the discussions now centered on how to improve the loan provisions for tertiary level students by identifying private capital that can supplement the offering from the state. And finally, a multi-million dollar flood mitigation program is underway in the western parishes of Trelawney, Westmoreland, Hanover and St. James. The National Works Agency, NWA, is ramping up the program as the country goes further into what is expected to be an active hurricane season. Approximately $7 million is being spent to clean several critical drains in flood-prone areas. Among the drains that are being targeted are the Chocha Gully in Westmoreland, the Venture Gutter in Hanover, the North Gully in St. James and the Long Pond Drain in Trelawney. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Adrian Atkinson. Thanks for watching.